guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you back checking out what I am up to. So yes, yeah, so this week I just went out one day garage sailing, um, looked for some yard sales, and I did travel about an hour away for an estate sale, and shoot, <laughs> it was a little bit overpriced. It was the first day of the sale, but I spied one of my favorite items there. So I did, I drove an hour just to pick up one thing. Would you all do that? was a local furniture flipper. They also have a retail booth in one of the local antique malls. So when I noticed their name on their Marketplace Facebook ad, I'm like, oh, I want to go check them out. I, of course, was hoping I was going to be as lucky as I was the previous week when I went to a couple reseller sales. But no, they had their stuff priced as they was still in their booth. And then if, if they, it was reasonable, unfortunately, most of it was broken. So I was kind of sad about that. But hey, everybody Everybody, you know, you just never know going into a sale what the prices are going to be or what you're going to find. So I'm just going to share my small little haul with you just to stay on my weekly basis so I don't build up a whole bunch of items laying around our house so I can get them into our inventory on eBay or whatever I need to do with them. And in this grouping, there's no makeovers. This are just all clean up and resell type of items and maybe an item for myself. So let me start right off with the hour away that I drove. To an estate sale and you just take your chances you don't know they just show pictures you can't really see prices and y'all know i love ironstone yes so so i did see this and i saw a couple other ones but um i i don't remember how it was hard to film them because there was a big sink in front of them and anyway this was the only one that wasn't cracked and re-glued so yes, this is a beautiful ironstone, I think I'm upside down, um, ironstone picture, goes well with my collection, it's got that beautiful detail. I did pay $15 for this, but I drove an hour away, so I spent the money on the gas. And then also, usually like in a retail price, I've seen these go for $50 to $80. So for my own collection, $15 is very doable. So I'm very happy with my find. <laughs> um, I, I took, and I did actually, the town had a little, a business going out of that in their downtown, but unfortunately they were on lunch when I went through. So I did try to see if there was other things in the town to see, but sadly, anyway. 
that that just happened. So apparently I needed the drive. So next I went ahead and um, it was about 20 minutes away from a Goodwill. So of course I had to go check out the Goodwill. So at first I wasn't, I didn't think I was finding anything, but then all of a sudden I did see this beautiful stoneware picture. Now it really reminded me of Mexican pottery, um, but it's not signed and when I Google, Google lensed it, it came up, um, yeah, just a stoneware pottery and they sell. Um, it kind of reminded me of the Mexican pottery because of the colors of it. So this is something I'll probably pop on eBay. Beautiful condition. I paid $4.29 for this one. No chips, no flea bites, no. It's just a beautiful, nice size pitcher. And then as I was walking around, I did find a piece of Mexican pottery. And now this was over with the dishes. <laughs> it wasn't like crazy that we saw this with the dishes. So this one is the Mexican pottery tone tonal ton, I slaughter words, so forgive me. So um yes, so I love that bird. I knew that that bird was Mexican pottery. I love the two little um handles on it. Just beautiful piece. It's nice and clean. So yet again, this is some, you know, Alex has got me all into eBay selling and you all wanted me to sell stuff online so you can get stuff. So yeah, this was, this will be an eBay item. And then the only other little thing, I guess I had a color theme going on that day, was for $3.29, look at this little ceramic. It is so well painted. Um, $3.29, I'll take the little tag off. Um, somebody painted it in 2019. I would have thought it was a let me put that sticker down. I would have thought it was a little bit more vintage. Um, but just look at how cute that there's just something about owls and very well painted. I was I was very surprised by that. So Juanita Baker. So Juanita Baker original, she did a wonderful job on it. So now my next, I came and I um, stopped at a garage sale and with this garage sale in the picture on Facebook, um, I did kind of see something, but she had some Pioneer Woman and Pioneer Woman's actually been selling really well for me. So I stopped by that garage sale to see if it was still there and it was. So I did pick up, oops, I did pick up the cooking cookbook stand. Isn't that gorgeous? This was $8.00. But I, I think it's a beautiful piece. Um, the tag is on it. I was trying to see if there was a price still on it, but I don't. The tag's on it that says Pioneer Woman. Well, she's already got it in um, embossed, engraved on the back anyway. Um, but I don't see the what the original price, but it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. So I did pick up that and then I did these little decorative um, spoons always sell really well for me. So yeah, they're, they're your, your teaspoon, your half a spoon, your tablespoon, your, you know, the whole little. So I don't, uh, I, I don't know. They don't say Pioneer Woman, but I'm thinking with the flower that they are, the whole little collection that she had. So I was happy with that. And then the one other piece I got there, those were $3. And then the other one little piece I got here was this enamelware black colander for a dollar. These are just, you can use them or you can go ahead and use them in your, in your display. So I thought that was a nice find. So now my next three pieces. Yep. That's all I got left is three pieces. You all, um, I actually got uh, my local Goodwill when I was on my way back. So first off I spied, I love clocks and I spied this little black metal clock and it's a brand new Ikea. So yeah, 329 for a brand new Ikea little clock. So I thought that was a great find. And then I didn't mean to get another clock. Um, but this one caught my eye. It was kind of tucked back in the basket wooden items. And I Google lensed it and this artist, I'm sorry, I'll have to maybe flash his name. Um, he, it, they go for good money. I could tell by the way that it was made um, it's got nice weight to it. It was beautifully done. 
Um, it's with that little, with the, it does not have the 80s vibe all over it, written all over it there. So yeah, for $5.29, I thought, what a beautiful piece. I'm going to pick that up. And as I've shared with you before, that we are surrounded by lakes. So a lot of people do visit um, Hog Creek, or I might even pop this on uh, the eBay store, just so it doesn't necessarily accidentally get damaged. Just a beautiful clock. And then my last piece, I just... I mean, I think for the small haul I got, I got some good pieces. So Alex was, this was, this was our last day with Alex at, at, yeah. So yep, he's moving now. So as I'm doing this video, his dad's helping him move the big pieces of furniture into the house. So anyway, okay. So for $5.29, <laughs> he was looking at some carts they brought out at Goodwill. And yeah, look at $5.29. It's a brand new watering can. <laughs> and then they had stuck some of the really nice florals in from Hobby Lobby. Look at the, the stems. I don't know if that's just how they had it, but yeah. So for five twenty nine, we know these stems. My daughter's actually made a wreath um, for fair for the four H fair years ago, so I knew how much those cost. So anyway, I, we have some florals, <laughs> and I'll probably sell it separately. I, I definitely will keep these. These are not ones I would regift, um, and then. Yeah, yeah, just a nice, and I could put wording on it, but I don't think for what I would resell it for that it would be worth doing that. So, yes. Yep, I know it was just a small little haul. It was just a couple little sales here and there, visiting a Goodwill. But sometimes it's just nice to have a video that's short and sweet. So let me know which item was your favorite that I found. And as always, if you are part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out this content for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we've uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye. And even, yeah. This is just Squirt's happy place right now when I'm sitting, anybody's sitting on the couch because then he knows he gets pets. <laughs> he knows he gets pets. Mm -hmm.